Good morning. We begin the last chapter of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4. And in this chapter, it starts off with Paul's uh, exhortation to Timothy, his, his challenge to him. And this chapter is the last chapter we have from the pen of the Apostle Paul. And so uh, there's kind of a, a, a solemnity to this chapter as we come to it. And we'll talk more about that as we look at it a little deeper. Uh, let me read the first uh, th- two verses to you. They kind of encompass the main portion of the charge, and I'm just going to focus on verse 1 this morning. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. Well, the context of that great exhortation, that famous exhortation to Timothy from Paul, preach the word. The context of that is verse 1. I charge you in the presence of Christ Jesus. And then he gives three data points about Jesus, who is first to judge the living and the dead by his appearing and his kingdom. Let's think about that for a moment. The context of the charge is with a view to the fact that Christ is the judge. Now, it's his word that a preacher represents. Uh, He represents the living word and the and the written word about the living word. And so it's in light of, of the, the gravitas of the judgment of Christ. This the, the gospels talk about, and Jesus talked about how all judgment has been given over and committed to the Son. It's in that context that uh, someone like me is to open the word and preach it, fully realizing that. In that, in that very real sense, you answer to an authority, or an audience rather, of one, under the authority of one, but to an audience of one, and that's Christ. Uh, in light of not just his judgment, but also his appearing. Well, he's going to return. And so there's a task that, of ministry that is readying people for his appearing, uh, readying them for that day, as Martin Luther famously said, there's only two days on my calendar, Luther said, today and that day, as he talked about the great day of judgment to come. And then finally, he says, by his appearing and his kingdom. Now, his kingdom is the realm where God in Christ rules, where, as Dallas Willard said, where what God wants done is done. It's, it's the realm of the moral will of God. And so it's in that, that with the kingdom, with all of its pathways and with all of its disciplines and with all of its uh, ways of life and ways of living, much of it articulated in the Sermon on the Mount, it's in that context, that fabric, that, ar- that aroma in that arena, that the preaching of the word is supposed to happen. And so a pastor um, is to do his work with a view toward the judgment, the appearing, and the kingdom of God in Christ. Now, to you, that's a good word as a reminder to you. Both, uh, just just both to realize what, what, what the calling is for someone like me, but also to recognize that by extension, as a believer, you're going to have to be ready for the judgment. You're going to have to be aware of his coming, appearing, and ready for that, and anticipating that. And you're going to have to be accountable to live in light of his kingdom. I hope that helps you today as you think throughout your day about what it's like to live in light of the impending return of Jesus and the fullness of his kingdom. Have a wonderful day.